Good morning, good afternoon, good night, everyone. We are going to the newest theme park, maybe in the world, definitely in Abu Dhabi, freaking SeaWorld. I don't know if you can tell, but we're excited. We're both wearing blue shirts. <laughs> On our way to SeaWorld, we're stopping at the last exit. Life is a highway. <laughs> We're gonna see Mater or something over here. You have drive throughs Starbucks steak on fries, Philly cheesesteak, chicken, pasta. I'm sure during the cooler months, people are chilling out here and they have like food trucks, but all that's closed. No one's coming out here, but look at that. It's like Mad Max inspired. They have a huge truck with like Gatling guns on it. That's so freaking fire. The last exit is the mad exit now. This actually has theming. This is the coolest pit stop I've ever seen in my life. I tried to reach at me. <laughs> Look at the theming of this place. <laughs> the bathroom is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Me how to do my job. This is the one bathroom I've actually wanted to just record. No one's in here right now, so that's good. A ton of fun picture spots, honestly. Paintball. Definitely my favorite part about this place is the truck. Anyway, freaking SeaWorld Abu Dhabi now open. I'm excited. Like, I just love new theme parks, new technology, new rides. Are you excited, buddy? Yeah, it's gonna be smooth since it's new, too. Yeah. All the rides are gonna be good. Yeah, no rocking. No rickety rides. SeaWorld! Parking is free. I love all the little fishies on the front. It's cool how they have SeaWorld in both languages. What will you discover today? More like At SeaWorld. Welcome to your one ocean adventure. We got our ticketing center right over here, but we already bought our tickets online. It's time to scan. All the presentations for today, they all sound really cool. Right away, this place looks beautiful. One Ocean Theater. Look at this entrance. Good morning, fishies. How are you? Oh my gosh. This is crazy. This screen is a full 360 like dome. What? Oh, wow. There's a whole presentation just happening here the whole, all day. This is so beautiful. What? So this is one ocean. It's like the central hub and you can go to all the different areas. Abu Dhabi ocean, micro ocean, endless ocean, tropical ocean, Rocky Point theater. Oh my gosh. Sea lions! Oh, they're so cute! Their environment looks so fun. I guess we'll just have to look for anything out of the ordinary. They're looking for fishermen. Alright, Captain. I guess you and I are gonna have to be the ones to take this seriously. I want you to follow my each and every move and stay close behind. <laughs> All right, Shelly, we found our illegal fishing person, but now she's in more trouble. Do you know what to do? Okay, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Shelly. Oh, is this like the SeaWorld's anthem? Also, they're friends with the fishermen now. She realized it's bad to fish in the water because it takes food away from the seals. Whoa, yeah, hey, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. This amphitheater is so big. That was a fun show. Hey, buddy. Hi. Oh, look at him. Hi, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's saying, look at him. <laughs> oh, I love these guys. Wow. I love the aquarium house, like over you. Oh, look, my little guy right there. That's so fun. Always making new friends. What's your name? Caleb. Where are you from? South Africa. That's awesome. So this is a paid experience where you can feed them. So we're gonna start back at the beginning yeah. and work our way through. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Get organized, get a map maybe. This place <laughs> yeah, a map, big. yeah. This screen is so cool. A 360 like projection that tells stories and information. Wow. <laughs> the technology is insane, must say. Oh my gosh, forget a character meet and greet. They have a live 
camel? Oh wait, it's not a live camel. <laughs> it's not live. Sure looks good though. Dang, I got so Dude, excited. We were looking, we were way back. We like, sprinting. Oh my God, a camel. Hi. <laughs> Get out of here. Hi, camel. <laughs> that is so awesome. So we've taken a moment and we've realized that this is the Abu Dhabi Ocean, and every zone theme of land here is based off an ocean around the world. That's why when you're walking in, it's like one ocean, one world, and. Right off the bat, I love that theming. Like, you know, we're all people sharing one planet Earth. And that's awesome. So you start here in Abu Dhabi because, you know, we're in Abu Dhabi and you get transported around the world. Fishies. 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 These starfish are actually from South America, I believe. And the crazy thing about this, this is actually a touch point. So if you take two fingers really gently, you can touch the starfish or any of the fish that are around here. I've never touched the starfish. This is so weird. Oh. That's so weird. Hey, this guy's a surgeon. Just in case anything goes wrong in the tank. By the way, after you touch your fishy friends, they have a hand washing station. We have Naham Theater. A little show's going on right here. Lots of theaters here. Woo! He's a storyteller. <laughs> Rush to the ocean. Basically, you're a turtle running away from the crab. You need a CID. Oh no. We have a little coffee bar here. Pastries, churros, donuts. Right over here, Mapak Umi Mother's Kitchen. This is a quick service location. Here's a little bit of the menu falafel, meat kebab, some of the desserts. We got some good looking hummus, grape leaves, salad, minced meat, cheese pie, lamb pie, cheese and zatar pie, chicken shish, meat kofta kebab. We have a authentic mountain dew. I'm joking guys, I'm joking. But here's all the food we got. This actually came out to about $27. Dipping in the food. What is that you're about to eat? This is a falafel. How is it? Good. Definitely a fun introduction to SeaWorld Abu Dhabi. I'm excited to explore more. There's so much to do here. <laughs> Meat thing, I'm gonna get in the tomato, what sauce? Tomato, tomato chutney. Tomato chutney. Good pick me up before we go under the sea. <laughs> yeah. I call these domas because that's what they are in Greece. Got some pomegranate on that. Mm -hmm. It's a little different. This is just such a cool way to enter the park. Every time you're here, you're seeing different fishies. Like, there's a turtle up there. Anyway, we're heading over to Tropical Ocean. Dolphin show. Oh, wow. The theming is so cool. Like Hawaii, Bahama vibe. Yeah, I'm feeling Hawaii. Yeah, I'm feeling more Hawaii. Look how this open this crazy. area is. All the natural sunlight coming in here. Wow. We got flamingos. Yeah, this is Hawaii. This I think they're trying to... Recreate the vibes of Hawaii. You got a Spice Island quick service here. Chicken noodle salad, dumplings, vegetable samosa, vegetable spring rolls, chicken udon noodle soup. No, they have ramen here. I want to come, I want to eat this, but I'm not hungry. Roasted half chicken, naan bread. Hey! Did you know that they get their pink color because they eat shrimp? Making our way over to the dolphin show, but look at all this. Oh my gosh, they have character meet and greets. It's a frog. It's senior frog. It's Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. Here is the dolphin stage show. You can see the dolphins swimming around. Also, something interesting I like about this theater is the seats are like, just like squishy grass, you know? It's very wide. By the way, they do have splash zones in the first couple of rows of the stage, so they might get wet. We hope you will enjoy learning more about the animals that hold Dolphin Island home. Enjoy your visit here on Dolphin Island.
buddy. <laughs> oh, they're so adorable. Some things never change. Like walking out of a show. Hey, look. It's Toucan Sam. Once again, no personal Another touching for point for Stingrays, huh? There's a lot of them. Got a little jungle gym down there for the kids. I mean, I guess that slide is really popular. <laughs> oh shoot, it's not just a play park. It's like a whole carnival game section area. They got treats as well. Oh wow, you're under the dolphins right now. Oh, hi buddy. The way this is built is nuts. Literally the pool that we saw the dolphins swimming in, it's above us, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, like look at this. You can get quick service food while looking at fishies. Wait, this is so fun. Jelly drift. Uh, <laughs> rubbish roundup. You think that's easy than the basketball? Like, this one's easier than the basketball. Hmm. The basketball they shape it like old movies. Whack-a-mole. Tandominium. Oh, this is the manta pool. We saw. Oh my gosh! Hi, little guy. Hey, you're so little. Oh, that's up? a big one. Waterside Cafe, there are so many places to eat. Unlike the restaurant we saw walking in, this place just has pizza, Tex-Mex specials, you know, chicken fingers. Ooh, they even got ice cream here. That's cool. I like how they actually have fresh orange juice readily available. They keep it in like a little fridge and then you have orange juice and apple juice over here. Tropical is definitely a cool area. It's hot. It is hot. in here. Yeah. I think we should go to the polar land. After mermaids. Last thing we need to do in this ocean is the rainforest. In we go. It's basically like a little birdie walkthrough area. Hello, birdies. How you doing? Wow, they're feeding right now. They're so close. Hi. Don't attack me, please. Dude, these things look crazy. Yeah, I like the little like orange things around their eyes. Wait, they have, look at their different hair color. Like this guy's got some black hair and then look at that one. Yeah. That one's got white hair. They have like mohawks. That one's got red hair. I was informed that these are Taracos. I have never been close to such a big bird. He's like half chicken, half peacock. Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh, look at his eyes, they're red. Bird it's it's cool. really, really made well. Like you can tell that this is a new park because the uh, environments are flowing in and out of each other very seamlessly. Mm. It's not like a theme park that was built. Like SeaWorld Orlando, you know, that was an amusement park turned into like a world. But they're trying to do storytelling and educate everyone all at the same time. And so far it's uh, it's it's showing. Every time coming into this area, it's just breathtaking. It's so cool. Oceans from around the world. I'm assuming this is the polar ocean. So the storyteller is actually telling a story about a mermaid. And you get to see a real live mermaid. And obviously it's really cool because the show is packed. We can't see anything. There's one more show, right? We're gonna come at 4.15, yeah, because we didn't, this one's too crowded. Yeah, so stay tuned. Hi, turtle. You're so cool. It is now time for Endless Ocean. The entrance to this place is really cool. Hammerhead. Hey, sharks. We are in Sea Base 4. It's very like futuristic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a dope spot. That is an amazing picture spot too. By the way, there were no maps available when we got here. This is the full map. This is Endless Ocean. Oh, yeah, it's touching. This, this is the Tropical. Educational panels you can learn about different fishes or habitats and diets. This store is called Launch Bay. <laughs> I just instantly think of Star Wars. But yeah, here's another gift store just so you guys can see what it's like. This aquarium literally just connects to this whole area. Like, we have our own little viewing point right here. Sea snacks. You can get popcorn, coffee, uh, waffles here. Look at scuba divers clean the glass. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. So entertaining. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> wow. wow. This is actually so cool. Like the coolest thing about this park is how like immersed you are in water. Like the water is above us. It's next to us, it's under us. Like, <laughs> I don't even know how this place was built. It's like a futuristic movie, like something that you just like. In a weird way, so we might be the aquarium and fish are looking in on us. No way. How deep it goes. What in the world? You see how deep that is? Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're so high up right now. 
and like we thought, I thought that was like ground level right there, but it goes like, damn. Bro, I don't feel like we're in a building right now. There's a walk through right there. You can walk. Okay. There's a bridge right there. This is unreal. Thumbs up this video. I feel so immersed right now. Like, I do not feel like I'm in an indoor theme park. SeaWorld has outdone themselves. This is nuts. Yeah, this this is something spectacular. <laughs> Regular hallways turn into their own aquarium. As you see, like, you can just look up and water. We are astounded by this. But the crazy part, look under us. You can literally, like, the fish are under us. Like, how, how crazy. at the bottom of the aquarium, full 360. <laughs> I cannot explain how beautiful and insane this is. You guys are so confusing. Yeah, honestly. Go, go over there. Okay. All right. Oh, we need to get like an iPad or something for this. <laughs> I already lost my hammer. We're not even. We're not even three minutes in. We'll go get it. I mean, it's saying thank you so much. What's your name? So, oh, so. Thanks for so here. All right. Absolutely magnificent. We are definitely underground right now. The amount of pressure this is probably putting on this glass, it must be so reinforced to hold all of this. Oh my gosh. That's where we were a couple seconds ago. We have a cafe slash juice bar and then right behind it seems like part of a restaurant. Yeah, appetizers, corn-fed chicken breast, surf and turf. You are literally eating with the fishes. Oh my gosh, a restaurant underwater, one would say. What an awesome place to have some delicious food. <laughs> this has been a very impressive land, or ocean, sorry. It's, yeah. it's like you're in a sci-fi movie. It feels like you're in a sci-fi movie, it's crazy. Wow. <laughs> I could just stare at this for hours. I never thought I'd ever see something like this. I don't even know what to say. I'm absolutely speechless. Like, shout out to the construction workers, the uh, engineers. Ocean is crazy. Like, that alone has made my day. Like, it, yeah. th like, like you just said, it feels like a video game. It's like it feels like we're in the central yeah. hub, and every time we walk into one of these areas, so far, all of them have been so different, and really transports you to a different part of the world. Like, it's it's been it's been like. I guess that's the plus of having a fully indoor theme park 
is you have control over so much. The lighting, the smells, the music. Next up is Micro Ocean. This is reminding me of Trident's Lagoon from Disneyland uh, Tokyo, or Disney Sea. my bad. I just rode this ride in Sesame Place. Standard kiddie rides, which are fun, you know? Oh, keep pressing it. Whee! Feed him, feed the fish. Oh yeah, they're trying to feed the fish. Almost there. Ah. You got a big drop tower with jellyfish. A big gymnasium for the kids to run around in. An interactive floor, a lot of fun stuff. I mean, kids could spend all day in this area. I don't know what happens if you step onto the sun. Oh, whoa, man, man, man. Plankton hub. You can actually look into a microscope and look at some plankton. And they do have a roller coaster in here. Reminiscent to again, Barnstormer. Seems like a long line. <laughs> Just found out that this ride is at a one hour wait right There's now. There's a lot of kids. Fun, small kids area. I mean, I think it's doing its job. Kids are running around. The jungle gym is not huge. Not for us. Definitely not for us, not for us but yeah. those are all the rides in this area. Here is a closer look at the earth, and periodically they have different shows going on explaining plankton or fishies. It's really cool. It is time for our last ocean, the polar ocean. Go. Antarctica, penguin. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. It's getting cold. We going down. Oh my gosh, so pretty in here. <laughs> Stop it. Another little kitty slide. You can learn all about penguins. I didn't know they had a macaroni penguin. That's funny. <laughs> Put some cheese on, is it? That's why they call them cheese, Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Wait, I've never seen so many penguins just swimming underwater. <laughs> oh my god, they're so cute. Look at them go. <laughs> I'm starting to see a trend of them really using their space well. They go underground, they put the aquarium in it, and then they add games, entertainment, food. Another quick service place right next to a tank of penguins. Battered fish rolled hot dogs, chicken tenders, but dynamite shrimp tempura or fries. That yeah. sounds lovely. This water is definitely colder than the last aquarium we were at. Like, I literally feel cold walking right now. So many penguins. They're all just like swimming so hard. I've never seen so many penguins just like moving and grooving. <laughs> now we're on the surface level. Look at all the penguins. They're just swimming around, having fun. There's some penguins up there as well. And right next to the penguins is another food area. Basically right above what we just saw. And here is less authentic, more just food. They got a caprese salad right here and it smells really good. Pizza, it's like Italian. It's like a random Italian. Linguine with shrimp, lasagna, uh, pesto, basil, pizza, cannoli, spaghetti. Oh my gosh. Whoa, oh, oh my gosh. This is the show for traveling around the world to different oceans. Whales! Aurora Borealis. I think I actually said that right. And look, the moon. Wow. We're in the deep end now. Oh my god, dude, what is this? Oh, wow! What? Whoa! The fuck? Guys. What? They have drones. No way! Whoa, whoa, whoa! They have a drone show! <laughs> oh my god! Wow! What? That was so cool! Whoa! <laughs> I'm so happy! Rising up from depths below Where are you going? Space, Earth, penguins, when the Antarctic.
Antarctica. We just saw some penguins. I re look at that. Look at the ground too. This whole area just changes. I love the stars. traveled around the world to see all the beautiful different animals. I mean, they have like their own original score of the show as well right now. The drones are coming back. What a show. Wow. Yeah, Disney has nothing on SeaWorld behind Probably that. Oh. Not over. In space. An indoor drone show. Wow. That was I so hate, good. I hate Disney. I'm oh, not, calm down. Calm I'm not, down. I'm not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a very, very awesome and exciting day. And now we get to see a real life mermaid. We want to play mermaids. That show was tops every day, every day. Better than Happily Ever After. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> that was the best. Quite literally the best. You could fly here just to watch that. That was crazy. One thing I'm really vibing with when it comes to SeaWorld Abu Dhabi is the message that they're saying we're one ocean. You know, this ocean, we have to respect it. We have to treat it right. I just like the message. Even the song that they were singing there was about being one ocean. And it just, you know, it makes us feel less of different people or different cities or different places and just, you know, all human. And we have to be with the earth and protect it and also enjoy it. But, you know, I oh, like, I love it. I, I love the messaging of this place. Interesting. So if you didn't know the storyteller, um, there's two different shows. The first one we saw a little bit of. Oh, whoa. <gasps> you can see it? Oh. The mermaid? Oh. My name is Hamad, and it's my very great pleasure to welcome you all here to the shores of Abu Dhabi. There are so many stories I want to tell you about the amazing creatures that live in the deeps. As soon as you venture beyond your own familiar do you remember the one about the family of dolphins who traveled from afar to explore the wonders of the Arabian Gulf? Or, or the story about Ahmed the Hamur who studied so hard so he could join the school of fish? Not really. What about the adventures of Seth, the sea turtle, the one who reached the right on the currents of the Arabian Gulf? I'm sorry. Oh. I can't believe you have forgotten it all. Oh wait, the dogons. What about the dogons? You must remember the stories of how they were mistaken for mermaids. That does sound familiar. Month after month, Sultan threw his net into the water, and each time his net returned empty. He vowed that if his net returned empty one more time, he will abandon his life at the sea and turn to the land for sustenance. And so it came to pass that Sultan threw his net into the waves one last time. This time, Marchand stirred the pond.
zu Tom und Berlin Liebes Eis. Der ist ein Hilenisten, wo sie auf die Berge schieben, wo sie auf die Berge schieben, wo sie auf die Berge schieben. So können wir nur so zu verloren, wenn es mal für die Frieden ist. Was jetzt? Wir wollen den Himmel. Du sagst ihm, der Mermaid hat ihm ein Gift gefunden, oder nicht? The mermaid has given him a gift that allows him to breathe on the water. <laughs> what a cool story. Wow. Oh wait. I think our friend's about to go into the water. He's on he's on the ship right now. Oh! <laughs> He's taking a selfie underwater. That's some good vlog content right there. Look at that. Oh, he's having fun. Mummy. Wow. I love that. This is the coolest meet and greet. You take a picture of them, but also the mermaid. <laughs> oh my God, it's good to see you guys. Thank you so much for joining. Well, Thank you. Very yeah. happy. Yes. So please, amazing. Come on nah. <laughs> so guys, you know the drill, right? What do we need to do? Like this. Have fun and <laughs> smile for the camera. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing, okay. And hey, we have a mermaid with us. That is so cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, our beautiful mermaid. Oh, isn't she amazing? She's very amazing. Thank you so much. Amazing. Oh my gosh, hi man. <laughs> I like I like your uh, your outfit going on on top. That's so cute. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a photo. <laughs> wow, what a show. That was fun. I feel like everything I'm seeing today, I'm actually really enjoying. That was cool. And I think it's really cool how they're doing a meet and greet at the end and their mics are on. So not only are you getting a little picture, they could just stand there and not talk, but they're providing a genuine interaction in character. And you get to take a selfie with Ooh, the mermaid. The real mermaid. Hannah, yeah. let us know if that was your friend. <laughs> <laughs> they got a wristband, wristband, right? Oh yeah, I got so, a whole bunch of wristbands. So like if you, if you want to actually buy a picture with the mermaid, which is probably a higher quality picture, it's here, so dang, 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 that's Ooh. so cool. I really like that show. The stage is literally an aquarium. We saw the sea maintenance crew, dolphin presentation, sea lion presentation, one epic ocean, uh, fisherman and the mermaid, to fur, oh wait, we didn't see that yet. Oh, we're going to do that right now. What time is it? It's like 4.30. Wow, oh, okay. So that's the last show we got, because we just saw this we, in the morning. We, 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 gl we, we glimpsed it in the morning, so. Hello, everyone. Hey, what's up? Hi, little guy. What's his name? It's a puffin. My grandpa used to have, my great grandpa used to have a no smoking sign, but it, instead of no smoking, it's a no puffin. And then it's a puffin. Ah, that's funny. Oh, he's having so much fun. I don't understand why it says troll crossing. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Another environment. Just being able to switch environments and worlds is so fun for me. And again, SeaWorld is just doing a really good job of 
showing that off. Look at the otter. It's time for another ride, Hyperspear 360. Boop, 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 doop, 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 doop. Whoa, look at this queue. As we're waiting for this ride, that was all the shows, by the way. You saw them all. So, boop, that's done. The Hyperspear is a transportation research vehicle, and we're going underwater to learn more about the ocean's currents and sea life. We've been waiting in this line for a minute now. It's been a long day, a lot of fun stuff. But being sweepy. Yeah. Here we go, going in. Pretty cool. It was like a show. This thing goes down. We move around. Pretty big show. They don't really have any like themed merchandise to the ride, it seemed like. But then again, technically, there's only really two rides, and that was barely a ride. That was more of like a 360 yeah. show. It was cool though. The technology was dope. They didn't really spin you that fast. They yeah. Moved up and down a little bit. Super chill. Research vessel. Just like a little playboat, you can click on different things or actually see a good shot of. The walrus! Hey. Look at him! He's living his best life! Aww. He's coming up for air. I love that. Also, by the way, all these oceans do have a second exit, aka from the back. That leads to the tropical ocean. You can control the ship. We're going down! Ah, somebody help us! That's me after that ride. It was just smooth rocking and <laughs> it made me sleepy and want to go to bed. That ride ended up taking about an hour to do due to the delays. I guess the ride went down, but we decided on what Jake's going to get for food. After a long day of fun and sea animals, it's okay. time to eat sea animals. Yeah. So, <laughs> I got fish. I got fish. What'd you get? What'd you get? It's like fish in a hot dog. It's like fish and chips, like the fish that you get, like in a hot dog bun. Take so a bite of like, it, take a bite. No, it's really good actually. <laughs> Yummy? Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. And I got the dynamite shrimp, which we're gonna try right now. It has a little kick to it. Pretty good though. Amanda. What? I think we found a ride. We Under were so water? caught up. <laughs> wow, okay, we're going on a Roller coaster, Mysterious Mantis. We are under the sea. It's a 10 minute wait, which I love to hear. We got a pre-show in the queue, talking about Mantis. There's the ride vehicle. Wow, we're moving and grooving, love to see it. I'm excited. Here is the queue. It looks so fun. That is so cool. Look at that Manta. Sea World. Here we go. The cool thing is this ride is providing boxes to put your stuff. And I don't see that in theme parks anymore, so I really appreciate that.
some outside POV of the ride. It's a long ride. Yes, yes, give it to me. All of it. Hi guys, are you having fun? I had fun. Woo. Yeah, it's a pretty solid coaster. Pretty solid pretty coaster solid if I said coaster. so myself. What a fun ride, let's talk about it. Oh, it's so cute. The ride was so good. I might get this. It was like a mix of Velocicoaster. It was comparable to Velocicoaster because of the smoothness in terms of how smooth that was, because it's a brand new ride. Yeah. And it, it makes you feel like you're falling out kind of, but you feel safe. It's kind of like so smooth. You, you take those turns, but you don't like jolt. It's like a fluid motion. Yeah. So it feels really good. Just like Velocicoaster. And then Manta in Orlando SeaWorld, if I got that name correctly, where it has those big drops and it's still an actual coaster. It felt like a, a normal roller coaster, but with the smoothness. And it was a very long ride. It lasted, I don't know, 45 seconds. Yeah, a while, it a while. And that, it was outside, but it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it nah, hot. It, was hot. it was a good ride and I definitely think everyone in the family can do it, so. Yeah, it's fun. The other rides we went on were kind of intense and I would be a little lightheaded after this one. I get off and I feel good. I'm do front row. Yeah, front, front row. Front row is worth it. Bubbles, tote bag. This would actually be so Oh cool. my gosh. To have this giant one. Wow. That, that's a cool manta. Merchandise. Might get something from here. It's really cool. Sharky, sharky hammerhead. All these plushies. Cars, dolphins, rays. Mako is what I meant in SeaWorld Orlando. It's a combination of Mako and Velocicoaster. With an hour left in the park, the main entrance Abu Dhabi Ocean turns dark it turns nighttime because <laughs> it's getting dark out they can control the environment in any way they want and I, I really love this even the lights are kind of on in a way that looks like stars on the way out we got a candy shop camel milk camel chocolate that's all a big thing it's a big turtle hello turtle pretty fun you got like a shirt merchandise yeah honestly if they had this hat in black I would totally get it Jake said he found something cool I don't know. Oh my gosh. They don't have it in my size. <laughs> what is it? Oops. They don't have it in my size. They don't have a size 12. <laughs> Dang, that's sad. <laughs> I think you can just probably put that back in. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Better. Look, we fixed it. Don't need these in Abu Dhabi and definitely not in Florida. There's a lot of like cool slash decent merch. I like how a lot of it says Abu Dhabi on it, which is yeah. cool. That sweater's kind of... You don't want SeaWorld Orlando. No, definitely not SeaWorld. That park is stupid. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Coming on out here. What did you discover today? What did you discover today? Um, the best theme park in the entire world. Whoa, Honestly. I discovered that mermaids actually exist. Well, everyone, that was our Woo! day in SeaWorld Abu Dhabi. And I personally had such a good time. Amazing. You know... Amazing. I didn't realize that there was barely no rides, like especially for adults, but that didn't matter because this theme park just had so much fun yeah. entertainment. And I mean, the aquarium, the largest in the world, like that was just truly a spectacle to behold. My camera did not do it justice. If you do come to Abu Dhabi, I definitely recommend you take some time to come here. Even you for could even come here, come to Abu Dhabi just for SeaWorld. That's big. You know, he hasn't Bold said that, he hasn't said that about anything no definitely not yeah, yeah. not any of the other, the other parks no but for this one yes um if you enjoyed this video make sure you go ahead like subscribe share ring that bell we have one more day it's been so much fun dubai abu dhabi wow um yeah there it is a blessed to be live best theme park ever sea world pretty fire sea world <laughs>